the referee surveys the scene. Excellent playing surface and two exceptional sets of players. And we can get underway in a matter of seconds at the VBS Community Stadium. Away we go. Great experience for these young Palace players. And they did the club proud last season. Runners up. Can they go one better this year? He looks very dangerous. Does a view way. And now the shot. Rasping drive as well. So close to the opening goal of the game. A view way into the near post. Will it be bundled in? It will. Crystal Palace have the lead. A view way swung it in. It got the flick from Matthias Franza. Very alert was the former Flamengo man, fresh from his senior debut against Newcastle. Might have taken a touch off David Ozo, who was making a nuisance of himself in the centre, but it's Franza, the summer signing, who celebrates. And that's the perfect start. Palace ahead inside the opening quarter of an hour of your group games. Here they come again with... Adaramola bursting down the left as he likes to do. Franca wants another one. Quick feet. Franca. They look a good combination. Franca and Adaramola gets back onto his feet. That's superb work from him. Little layoff, and it's a good save by the keeper. Again, it was Nathan Ferguson. The rock at the back. Valme. Ben Seguir mentioned his name a lot. He's been trying to make things happen for his team. Better from Monaco. Glory against PSG. Disappointment against PSV in the final, ultimately. But how they flew the flag of Crystal Palace and how they continue to do so. Real asset to the club. And that's a bit of dodgy goalkeeping. Just about got away with it, Leonard. Laps in concentration. It didn't cost his team, though. Here come Palace again. Abue. Oh, that's wonderful. From Crystal Palace's number 23. Sublime finishing. He got an assist for the opener with the corner. And this time, from open play, it's all his own work. He illuminates the VBS Community Stadium, shining bright under the lights, a left-footed curler, no chance for the Monaco keeper. Monaco have been tormented on this Tuesday night, and Imre reveling on the right flank, trying to force the error from Cartillier, and now Abue comes away with it. Tight angle, thought about the shot, squeezes one through for Imre, who drags it wide of the target. Now Diop, the game's getting stretched towards the end of the half. Koulibaly with the ball in, and saving low to his left is Remy Matthews. Ola Adabomi holding it up expertly, Ozo. The keeper didn't come. That allows Franca to emerge with the ball. Matthias Franca, can he go all the way? Pulls it back. Keeper makes a brilliant save. Devani looks as though he might just try his luck, but decided to pass. Here come Monaco now. It's breathless at the start of the second half. Monaco looking to get one back. And great save. Brilliant goalkeeping from Remy Matthews. That is outstanding to deny a Tonde on the score sheet. And here's a long-range effort. Keeper had just strayed Jan Lienard with a real maturity, perhaps beyond their years of Palace. And now Rashawn Maturin slots it forward for Wells Morrison. And he gets the cross in. The header flashes wide from Ola Adabomi. Contribution. Will it be a match-winning contribution? Looks like at the moment, although they won more goals. Here now is Dylan Reed. 
And Ola Adabomi, can he make it three? Well, he tried to guide it inside the post, but the keeper's positioning was exemplary. Jan Lienard, set-piece opportunity for Monaco. It is going to be the left boot. What a save. Fabulous. At full stretch to his right from Remy Matthews. He's made two stellar stops in this second period to keep Monaco at bay. They've shown attacking threat in the first half and defensive solidity in the second. That'll be the way to sum it up, really. From Palace's point of view, Monaco want one back, clawed away by the keeper, and then he makes a follow-up save. Danger hasn't gone, and the referee has pointed to the spot. So, initial clearance, then the save was made, but foul committed, and a yellow card issued as well. Penalty for Monaco, Baglieri, the substitute, versus Matthews. He's already made good saves in the game, but he couldn't keep that one out. And Monaco are back in it. They've halved the deficit. He makes no mistake from 12 yards there, Baglieri. 87th minute. Buabre swings it into the near post, and then what a save that is. Brilliant goalkeeping by Matthews. He's kept them ahead. And it's the number five again, Jules Berry, who had a free kick earlier, which was saved. Well, that's an equally good, if not better, save from Remy Matthews. And here now come Palace on the counter. Played in field. Surely it'll be helped in by Maturin. It is. No flag. That's the third goal. That's the match clincher. Palace get themselves a win in the Premier League International Cup. And it's the substitutes who combine. Franco Ume surging forward on the counter after Matthews had made a truly brilliant save at one end. They got the ball, moved it on the breakaway. Ume did the hard work. And Rashawn Maturin had the simplest of tasks of scoring from close range. And that will do it for the Palace youngsters. With the ball in, and the referee, well, it's taken action here, and gone over, and that's a card in the direction. Is it Sir Perinel? I think it might be the manager. We have this handshake. And I think it's the Monaco manager who's been sent off. Imre with the ball towards the ever-willing Ola Adebomi. There is the final whistle. Palace get the win. They've beaten Monaco by three goals to one in a very exciting, eventful affair.